Let's call my ex-wife Clara, who is 24 years old and myself, Brad, who is 31 years old. I had a real estate company that I opened after dropping out of college and decided to pursue a career in real estate. It was difficult at the beginning, but it's no secret that America is a land of opportunity. Over the course of four years, I was able to become a millionaire by investing in real estate in my life. I had been living a very successful life. I was born into a middle-class family and through a combination of hard work and dedication, I achieved everything I wanted in my life. In fact, I did not have time for these things as I was just struggling with my career. In fact, you can even say that I haven't been able to find the person that I wanted in my company. We were looking for a new employee. I was a very professional person and I wanted to recruit a perfect employee in my company for accuracy. Therefore, I conducted interviews on my own in order to achieve this. It was during that session that Clara was one of the candidates who applied for the position. The time had come for her to come into the room. She appeared nervous as she entered the room. It was true that her personality was generous. However, I felt a spark of excitement when I talked to her and I felt a connection. Despite the fact that she was a bit shy, I tried my finest to make her feel comfortable during the interview. There was a problem with her as she had no experience at all. And I needed somebody who was capable of handling clients effectively. However, I wanted her to join the company, even though she does not have any experience in the field. It was therefore a no barrier for me to hire her. There was even a case where I did not have any need for her, but I hired her anyway because she was special. Her presence made me fall in love with her. She started coming to the office in the beginning. She worked in the office as a trainee and the employee of another company. But then she was hired to my, to be my personal secretary. After a week, it wasn't long before I started talking to her. And sometimes I invited her to lunch or sometimes I invited her for a coffee in the cafeteria during lunchtime. The first time I met her, I liked her and wanted her to be a part of my relationship. I felt she was also interested in me when we started dating. I always brought her along with me to various business meetings and parties that I attended. She once requested a payment in advance of three months in advance. As far as I know, she does not have any family members to support and she does not have any expenses like that. Therefore, I don't understand why she wants such a huge sum of money. The girl told me that she had to take a loan when she was studying. I ignored her explanation because I thought that she may have an authentic excuse. Therefore, I signed a check for her advance salary payment. It was always my habit to give her expensive gifts and she cherished and loved them all. She was a very inexperienced girl that was new to the field. But after knowing her mind, she suddenly had an incredibly sharp mind in that area. Our discussions are always centered on business and current real estate scenarios in the industry. My life and my assets are often a topic of conversation with her. In my opinion, it was a positive thing because I thought maybe she was getting some inspiration from me since I was a self-made man. After all, she changed my mind in a positive way as if she were the one I had been waiting for. I felt like I had found her. After three months of dating, I decided to get married to her and she said in my response, she needed some time to think about it and make her mind up being a stable man. I did not expect someone to take the time to marry me. The opportunity to marry such a fine man was an honor and a blessing. However, I told her she could take her time to think about it. In spite of this, I wanted to get married to her as soon as possible. She asked me for a leave of absence of one week. I found it strange that I asked her if she was all right. According to her, she is just a little sick and just needs some time. It was therefore necessary that she take a period of rest for treatment. She was given two weeks off from work, having seen her in the office for three days. I told her that she should be at home. She said she had recovered and now she had made a decision. I said what she said she would marry me because I thought she might have someone else in her life or may not want to get married right now. 
I was surprised although I was happy because my proposal had been accepted and I was going to marry her as soon as possible. In those days, I was quite busy as I told her to prepare and purchase whatever she wanted for her marriage. I agreed with her and she told me that she had bought a designer dress which was quite expensive. When I asked her how much money she wanted, she replied, she needed $10,000. She asked me for that dress and I gave her the money for it. Other than that I did all my shopping on my own in the days leading up to the wedding. I saw her dressed in a common dress on the day of the wedding. It surprised me because I had an idea of what a designer dress would look like. However, it was not as expensive as the amount of money she got from me. It was after the ceremony that I asked her about the dress. She was not responding well and ignored my question at the end. She said that she was tired and that she needed to sleep due to my belief that she would be able to explain it to me. Well, I did not ask her about it again. The next day she made me breakfast and served me and kissed me. She gave me a loving start. Then we started having sex. I enjoyed that a lot because all of her new behavior, I forgot about the dress. It's possible that she wanted me to forget about it. She was very loving after that one day. I said now I was going to promote her in the company and that I did not want her to work as a secretary while I thought that she would love to join. She said that she did not want to join work anymore and would like to enjoy life without work. Whenever I observed her, I noticed that she was always glued to her cell phone. She told me that she was calling her friend when I asked her what she was doing. That was a red flag. I received an email a few days later informing me of the fact that a large sum of money has been withdrawn from my bank account because I gave her one of my credit cards for her to use. I called her right away to ask about the amount she said she withdrawn because she needed it for her personal use and she need. I asked her why she did this and she told me that she was free to ask me before doing that and I would be able to give her the amount. In addition, I asked her by the way why she needed such a large amount for her own personal use. Please let me know if you could tell me more about that. There was a stunned look on her face as if her lie had been revealed. She suddenly said she was just going to tell me but she thought she would notify me after donating the amount to the special child. It is a kind deed, my love. But you should tell me before you do that because it is not a crime to do that. And then she changed the topic. I found this strange because this was the third time that I had talked to her about money. The situation was not normal for me at all. I decided to hire a private investigator in order to find out more about Claire. So I contacted him. The only thing I wanted to know is where the money was going, that she spent a lot on. It was also told to him that Claire got a huge amount of money from me three times which made me very doubtful of her. After following her for a week, he told me that she had met a man twice in a restaurant. He said the two looked like they had an affair. He added that they looked like they were having an affair. Investigators followed them and they went to the hotel as well. The man said, I'm sorry, Mr. Brad, but it appears that your wife is cheating on you. It appears that she's giving him all the money because she did not spend any money elsewhere. This was a nasty surprise for me as I wasn't expecting it as much as I could not believe what he told me. The investigator showed me a few pictures that he took in the restaurant of Claire with her appy thought. Maybe she was spending money on herself, but she he did not tell me about it. But my money was being given to her affair partner and she was giving it old to him. She was defrauding me a load of money by doing this in order to file divorce papers as soon as possible. I called my lawyer. My anger got the better of me. But when I realized that it was a case of fraud that I did not even have any evidence that she was giving her any of the money. I was just making a hypothesis. There was evidence against her that I had to find out about. My brain was not working by thinking about all the things she had done. So then I got an idea. I just had to wait. Whenever she asked me about money, I just have to give her cash money and it must be fake. There's no doubt in my mind that she will give that money to her lover as a result, both of them will be caught. 
This is because Clara's lover will definitely tell her about the money. She will have no other option. But to ask me about fake currency. Aside from that, the investigator would be tracking her AP and will be able to find everything about him. Despite the fact that it took two weeks for her to ask me about the money. The day finally came when she asked me about it. I've already obtained a fake currency to give her the amount she demanded was given to her. It was my instruction to private investigator to follow her wherever she went. He followed her in the next day. She was able to meet her AP. All the pictures of them were taken by P.I. Two days after I gave her the fake money, she came to me and started shouting at me asking why I gave her fake money. I was listening to her quietly because I wanted her to finish before I started revealing some of the pictures that I had to show her. Then she demanded me answer from me. And I told her that I would like to show her something in return. I gave her an envelope which she opened and saw pictures of her with her AB after being shocked. She sat on the ground and kept her mouth shut for some time. Now, you know why I gave you fake money. I told her my response to her was that I was aware of the fact that she was giving all the money to her fucker. It was then that she started crying and said that she was sorry. It was not about money. She broke in my trust as well as my heart badly. I gave her divorce papers and told her to go away from my life. I don't want her anymore. As soon as she refused to leave. I threatened her that I would call the police if she did not leave. Finally, she left that. That money was not a waste of me since it revealed one of the biggest truth about my better house infidelity. The small amount saved me from